Here's a Monday morning update on a coronavirus lockdowns. Pay particular attention to New York State and New York City. And this is really concerning for those that, uh, for the epicenter of the outbreak, which is China. The fact that you're seeing this resurgence and concerns that maybe there might be a second wave that has global markets and global economies a little bit concerned as well. Now, Susan, as, as we know, the, the initial virus outbreak uh, happened as a result of, of the animals uh, infecting human beings, and then it became human to human. Do we know whether this is human to human or whether animals might have been involved here as well. Yeah, we don't have that information right now. Nobody so knows for, anything. Uh, for your I get reference, China has recorded 83,000 COVID infections. Here in the U.S., it's more than, I would say, five times that. Right. And in China, 4,600 deaths. So I think it's a different conversation whether or not we believe these numbers, but it's the reemergence of clusters across the country that has people concerned. Gotcha. Susan, thank you very much. And now back over here to New York. Weather was gorgeous in New York over the weekend. And, of course, a lot of people who have cabin fever went outside. Come in, Lawrence Simonetti. Uh, Governor Cuomo was Here not comes. happy about that, but he wants to take it out on the whole city as a result of a few Here people comes. going out, right? Hey, David, that's right. Uh, Governor Cuomo says he is threatening to reverse the reopening because of violators. Listen. Before I reverse a statewide position, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to reverse it in those areas with, that are not in compliance with the rules. Manhattan and the Hamptons are the leading areas in the state with violations. Local government, do your job. If we have to close, then people are going to hold you accountable. So, David, he's putting the onus on local governments. Well, it let's gets talk better. about New York City, which is in phase one. Phase two is expected to start. Listen to what de Blasio has to say looking forward to coming that. up. Well, mayor Bill de Blasio, the mayor of New York City, says this. We had social distancing ambassadors out all weekend distributing masks and encouraging people to disperse after making their purchases. These businesses are allowed to be open per the governor's guidelines. And we don't believe imprisoning people or taking away their livelihood is the answer. He said, look, it's take out, don't hang out. And the, the story I had to play it twice. Cuomo, the governor and de Blasio, the mayor, continues. Mayor lockdown. As seeing in other places, not New York yet, infections go up. But you know, the craziness about all yeah. this is, is when this all right. began back in March, it was exactly the opposite. Exactly the, the opposite. was getting on the mayor's case. Because the mayor wanted to close down the city so, and the governor wanted to keep businesses open. So, you know. Now it's exact. I mean, I, you know, it's not just me that's saying this. You're hearing a lot of, of people in New York, Manhattan, and even outside of Manhattan and New York saying we're run by a bunch of clowns. They don't know what they're yeah. doing. Yeah, and the rules do that's change enough. every single day. But look, you have protests. Yeah. So many people so close together wearing masks for the most okay. part. But if you right. can see that and do that, why can't you have a restaurant be open for outdoor seating? Yeah. Or go to church. Exactly. Or in um, unbelievable. Now let's talk about the Seattle protest. 